2014, I decided that I needed to stop feeling like I didn't belong in this industry. That I didn't know what I was talking about just because I didn't have a computer science degree. I am self-taught like so many programmers, maybe just like you. I've learned so much over the years, but it was just enough to get the job done. I was successful, but talking to other programmers who knew the difference between oh, order in and order log in, well, that just shut me right up. I decided to do something about it. I love learning, so I focused my time and spent 18 months digging into the curriculum that goes into a typical computer science degree. At first it was just for me, but then I thought that maybe I would turn what I was learning into a series of blog posts. And then someone suggested that I turn it into a book, which was scary, but it was also wonderful. It would push me beyond the casual effort, drive me to learn these things to a deeper level. So I did it. That book is The Imposter's Handbook. Over 500 pages of the core concepts that go into a computer science degree, explored from the perspective of someone who's been in this industry since 1993. As opposed to an academic drywall of text, I wanted to make it a personal conversation between you and me. A travel log documenting my journey complete with hand-drawn illustrations that I used to understand these fascinating subjects better. I started with Big O Notation, a subject that has more than once caused me to remain completely silent during a lively debate between my peers. I then moved on to computation, complexity theory, data structures, and essential algorithms like merge sort, quick sort, Bellman Ford, and different ways you can traverse a binary tree. I used to jump head first into coding whatever my client or my boss wanted. But learning about complexity theory has given me a completely new perspective on things that I simply shouldn't try. Interview questions became less scary, and most of all, I began to feel like just a little bit less of an outsider. The only problem I had in writing the first book is that I needed to figure out where to stop because I was having way too much fun. I was lucky and the book sold incredibly well, so I decided to write another one, pick up where I left off in 2018. This time, I asked a friend to join me, Scott Hanselman. We dove into binary operations, encoding, cryptography, and encryption, as well as the birth of the information age through the work of a quiet genius named Claude Shannon. He is as important to what we do as Turing, Church, or von Neumann. I've always wanted to understand how SSH keys work, so I found out, lost myself in prime factorization and asymmetric key encryption. We wrapped up the second volume by understanding and then building our very own blockchain, and yes, it's certainly a controversial topic, but it's one that I think that we should understand as well as we can before forming that very strong opinion. I have learned so much writing these books and have had the most fun I've ever had in my career. I hope that comes across and I do hope you enjoy them. Thanks for dropping by.